here we go. On our way to Jacksonville, Florida. There is a Naval Air Station there and we have reservations to stay on the base. And looks like it's gonna be a beautiful drive. It's uh, just partly cloudy, but the roads are dry and uh, it looks good. Looks really good. So, um, last night <laughs> we had a, a little bit of a snafu. We parked overnight in a rest area. Uh, not the one that we were originally going to stay at, but we ended up staying here because we had um, about an hour left, no, more than an hour left. It was over 70 miles to the rest stop that we originally wanted to to stay at, but we decided to, to stop uh, because it was already a little after 8 p.m. and we did not want to drive late into the night and it's a good thing we did because it started to pour it rained for several hours steady rain so it's a good thing that we stopped and we had gotten one of the last spaces in the rest area for RVs slash trucks so we we did really good we did really good but that's not the snafu. <laughs> the snafu is that we forgot to dump our gray tanks um, before we left the house. What, what happened was we always sanitize our lines um, a few days before a trip. And then we dump the gray tanks. Well, we forgot. So when we were taking a shower last night it was two-thirds full <laughs> talk about water conservation <laughs> it was brutal but we did it we did it so here we are um, we're about oh I'd say about two and a half hours away from the Naval Air Station thank goodness and we'll just dump our tanks and all is good with the world all is good with the world. So let me just, um, I'm going to pan down here because I want to show you uh, something that I made not just for um, Orion's Litter Box because Orion's Litter Box goes here. And those of you that own late, later Senecas know that this area right here slopes down. So what was happening was we were putting Orion's Litter Box here and the litter would just go all the way to the front or towards the back of the litter box and he didn't like that he complained <laughs> so um, I made this and this is level now so there's a about a, a one by four here and it goes all the way to the other side and um, it makes this area level and also, it's it's a great area to put Orion's favorite pillow, and he lays here every once in a while, and he's happy. He's happy. It's all about keeping our, our furry friends happy. And speaking of Orion, hi, baby. Say hi to everybody. I know. It's time for you to nap, huh? Okay. Well, that's all for now, and here's, here's my driver. He's so happy to be driving. He loves to drive, thank goodness. <laughs> and there is our tow. Yep. It's coming with us this trip. Okay. Signing off, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, we are currently at the Naval Air Station in Jacksonville, the RV park, and um, it's not too bad. There's a, a lot of uh, areas to camp, and surprisingly, it's not a whole lot of people. Um, 
let me show you the map. Uh, this is the, the map that they gave us. And this road right here is Weston. And it leads right to the campsites, which is right here. Okay, so there's, there's several areas that you can go to. Um, we're actually at, let me see if I can find... There is, here we go. Okay. So again, here's Muston Road right here. And these right here are, well, these right here are pull throughs. These are back ends here and back ends here. And there's another section over here. But we originally were in number 44 and we switched to 42 because we could not level the RV and come to find out they're all like that but fortunately um, the camp host um, gave us um, a thing that he actually made that I'm going to show you that was very very helpful um, for us to be able to to level our coach and we all know that you cannot take out your slides if your coach is not level you're asking for trouble if you do <laughs> Your coach has to be level before you pull out your slides and maintain level to bring them back in. Okay. Now this, again, this is a nice campsite. Um, we got this as well and it lists a bunch of um, restaurants or where you can go. Um, and they're like little business cards. I imagine you can get some something off because they're they're like you know they got little codes so I'm not sure I'm gonna have to ask my hubby about it and they also gave us like a little sticker to put on our RV if we wanted to that's pretty good I like it it's $25 a night full hookups not too bad not too bad so let's go outside and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about as far as um, what we use to level and I could show you a little bit of the area so I'm gonna take you with me okay I always take my shoes off so you're gonna have to put my shoes back on here we go shoes on all is good with the world and let's leave here we go I have my little step Okay, because it is quite tall. Okay. So this is what I was talking about right here. Um, again, we could not level. And this is a homemade product. And it worked great. It didn't even slip. So this looks to be like a 2 by 12 and it's pressure treated. You could tell that it's pressure treated. And he did a, a good job staggering them. So it's uh, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I'm going to be taking measurements um, just to make sure that uh, when I reproduce it at home, it's uh, at the exact specs because, like I said, it worked really, really well. And it brought the RV up. And then the, the jacks just um, came down to provide stability. But we are sagging in the back, mainly because it had to go up so far to level. So, you know, let's go around the back. I don't think it's ever sagged this far back. <laughs> See, look at look how low the bottom is. Yeah. So, but uh, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has quite a few empty spaces. And there looks to be like a, I don't know if that's a parking area over there right over there but I know there's um, where you can park your your toys over there your extra cars so it's pretty nice 
Now this is the the week right before Labor Day and look how tall it is off the ground oh my god and um, we are looks like uh, the bullseye for Hurricane Dorian um, it's gonna hit this weekend uh, and so far they're projecting that it's going to uh, come up here so we'll be leaving before then but uh, yeah we're, we're all set up uh, we're leaving tomorrow and um, heading north but it's really really nice they have a uh, a laundry room and bathrooms and it's all with codes so you get in and you know use it with the code that they give you when you get your RV pad you hear that noise Wow <laughs> that's not too bad they have recycle bins over there trash trash can they also have a dump area um, see if I can point to it right there that's the dump area so if uh, you want to just dump your tanks you can do that and this is uh, the rest of it right here and they do have oh look at there's a looks like there's a body of water over there so we can take a look see Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. These are a lot of pine trees. Hi, how are you? I won't I won't take a video of you. No, I won't take a video of you. Okay, yeah, some people don't like anybody videotaping them, so it's just brief. You gotta warn them. Give them a, a disclaimer of sorts. These aren't bad sites. Okay, so these are gravel right here. They're gravel sites. Uh, they're full hookups because they've got electric and oh I don't see the water spigot so maybe not full hookups oh yeah there's a water spigot right there okay so it's all good and it looks like this is a little pavilion right here not too bad so let's go up this this uh little um what you call it board boardwalk nice and secure and look at that body of water right there you could just sit there and contemplate life and contemplate that all is good with the world <laughs> okay Look at this. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, that's good. Okay. I can see how you could just sit here and just get lost in the scenery and the ripples of the water and the sound of nature. That's beautiful.
Okay, let's turn around. Let's go back. Go back up on the boardwalk. Yeah, like I said, this is not paved. These camping sites are not um, concrete slabs. And this one is it's a pretty nice one because it's, uh, it's sideways and you basically just kind of like a... Oh, it is a back end. Yeah, it's not like a, a roundabout or anything. Oh, here's another camp post. There's two. There's actually two, I believe. Okay. It's really nice. Nice and peaceful. Serene. Tucked away. I like that. You know, when you hear that nature the nature sound, the crickets or whatever is buzzing up there. Right before a storm, it's all hush. They, so, the fact that they're making noise could be a good thing. But I'd hate to come out here one day after hearing them and then discover that it went silent because nature knows. Nature knows when something's coming. And they pick themselves up and hit the road. <laughs> Get themselves all hunkered down somewhere. Okay. I guess that's uh, Must Mustin, Mustin Road right there. I do believe. I do believe. And there's areas that you can walk your dog too. Just have to remember to pick up after yourself, okay? Let's not allow it to stay on the ground. And then what happens is you, uh, someone else will step on it and that's not good. Okay, sorry about that, my phone rang. But here's uh, the bathrooms right here and the laundry area right in there. All is good. So let's go up this road. And I can see my RV. Look at that. Woo! I see that a lot of people did what we had to do. They raised their front end to be able to level. Oh, there's, there's my hubby. Okay, so we're heading out. We're going to explore some more. Of course, you'll be exploring with us. Okay, signing off, everybody. Okay, um, we're leaving the fam camp area just to do some exploring and here we go I'll tell you what it's it's really hot here <laughs> 
Okay, so this is Mustang, right? Oh no, it's not Mustang. I, I do apologize. This is not Mustang. That road right here is Mustang. Right here. At the stoplight, you see that the sign says Mustang. Okay, my uh, my driver is asking me where we going, so I gotta pull out the map. <laughs> okay, this is Birmingham. So let's see where. Okay, Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham. I'm trying to see where everything is at. keep going on Birmingham because I think Birmingham is like the central street it looks to it looks to be like there's quite a bit of things on uh, on Birmingham I like the names of these street there's a uh, Birmingham Enterprise Saratoga Yorktown carrier names <laughs> I love the Navy oh and look it's a golf course right there cool beans Oh, here's a Navy Exchange. See what I said. Birmingham is the central main strip where it seems like everything is at. Where everything is happening. Okay, let's see. No, that's not it, huh? No, this is a personal support attachment. Oh, okay, well maybe it was um, up more. Wrong turn, but that's you know what, guys. That's how you learn. You make a wrong turn. My father-in-law always says, "I'm not lost. I'm exploring." <laughs> so we're not lost. We're exploring. Okay, right across the street. Oh, cool beans right across the street. We just took a a left instead of a right. That's okay. That's the home and garden center. Yeah, but where the home and garden center is, it's usually the BX that's not too far off. So, we got this. We got this. getting pulled over yeah you really can't go past the speed limit on a military installation because they will pull you over okay this is the post office right here I think right here oh there we go Here we are, the Navy Exchange. It's a big one. They expanded it about, oh, I want to say six years ago. We were here, and they were just adding extra space. And I'm telling you, this place is huge. The laundry was... It's just huge. And the prices aren't too bad, so we're going to be doing some shopping. Okay, everybody, I'm going to sign off. Here we go.